Good afternoon. I am in Luang Prabang, finally. Uh, and it's awesome so far. It's definitely, Laos has been definitely different than, than Thailand, for sure. Um, last night, I slept for like 12 hours. I had to get a private room because my hostel was out of the dorms. So I am feeling refreshed and ready to go. I'm on my way to a temple. Um, it's called Wat something. I, I honestly have no idea how to pronounce it. I'll put it down here for you. But um, that's going to be stop number one today. And then kind of just going with the flow. Stumbled across this temple on the way to the other temple. Let's check it out. So the stairs in that shot, that was about half of them, but it's worth it. Take a look at this view. like there's a separate way I can take down man but I just can't get over this view with the mountains in the background oh man so nice lesson of the day if you see stairs leading to who knows where climb them usually end up pretty cool So there's different statues of Buddha here that represent different things that you pay respects to on different days of the week and they're actually labeled. So we have Saturday Buddha. And over here. I'm not sure what this one is. It doesn't say in English. Oh, there's Thursday Buddha up there. And here's Tuesday Buddha. Yeah. Very interesting. So there's like little, I'm trying to figure it out. There's like little stores and there's markets and stuff like that up here on this hill or this little little mountain or whatever you want to call it see there's like signs i guess there's a market over this way doesn't really seem like anything's going on at the moment though so i'm just gonna keep on making my way down i've heard about buddha's footprint i don't know what it is i didn't realize it was here but I'm just gonna keep on walking. And I guess we'll find out. There's lots of stairs going many different places. I don't know if I'm picking the right ones. It's cool how they just built so many things just right into the rock. Or carve them out of the rock, maybe? I don't know. I 
imprint of Buddha foot. Huh. Interesting. I guess that could be a, that looks like the imprint of a foot. Alright. Well, <clears throat> cool. That's enough stairs for today. Look at this bridge. Let's cross it, huh? <laughs> Let's see what's over there. <laughs> no way. This is the Namcon River. Ten thousand kip. So ready. Ten thousand? Yeah. Okay. Back across. Here we go. So I actually read a little thing about the bamboo bridge um, that I'm on right now. And it the 10,000 kip that you pay to cross it is a, it both helps with maintenance of the bridge, obviously, and it's a salary to the family that builds the bridge. The bridge is only up six months out of the year because during the rainy season there's too much water and the river is flowing too heavy for it to stay. Um, so they have to rebuild it and then take it down every single year and this is just part of um, the way that they give back to this family for doing so. That was pretty cool. I'm passing by a lot of temples. This whole street is just temple after temple after temple after temple. But it is hot. And the sun, I don't know, the sun hits a little harder over here. That's for sure. I made it. It was a tough time trying to figure out how to get here because the entrance on Google Maps was actually the exit so I couldn't go in there. Um, so I was walking around trying to ask around how to get in here because it's such a big place. Everybody just kept saying, just keep walking, just keep walking. And I ended up, I still couldn't find the entrance. So I ended up just going down this like little alley. And I think I found a sideway in. I don't think it's the main entrance, but regardless, <laughs> took a little while, but here we are.
Bunkerbung National Museum. Let's check it out. The museum was pretty cool. It was a few different buildings. There was like a royal car exhibition with a few like Lincoln Continentals from the 1950s and 60s that we gifted that the, the royal family used. That was kind of cool to see. They had other vehicles as well, obviously. Um, all in all, all of the museum and all the temples I went to, um, the bridge crossing, I probably spent like maybe almost 100,000 kip on all of that. So really not bad, pretty cheap, honestly. You know, there's lots of good bakeries around here because of the French influence. So I'm gonna find a little, a little baked good of sorts to hold me over till dinner time. Our classic butter croissant and a little espresso pick me up. Mm -hmm. Back at the night market and it's just as busy on a Sunday night as it is on a Saturday night. So today I'm trying a Lao dish that is um, a stir fried rice and chicken in a curry powder. So that should be uh, pretty good hopefully, we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna be spicy or not, so we'll find out. And I'm also drinking a Beer Lao Gold. Something interesting about Beer Lao here is that there's different kinds. I've only had the regular ones so far, but there's Beer Lao Gold, Beer Lao Dark, Beer Lao White, Beer Lao IPA even I've seen. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try them. I don't know what the difference I don't know what Beer Lao Gold is. It just says premium lager beer. So. Um, it's good. I mean, it tastes pretty similar to the regular Beer Lao. Honestly. There it is. Looking good. Let's give it a shot. super spicy it's not really like any of the curries I've had in Thailand honestly it's a little bit different a little sweet but still spicy yeah really good so I've just arrived at Kong Si waterfall I believe is how it's pronounced I'm actually just at the parking lot it's about a 45 minute drive outside of Long Prabang and it's one of the bigger things to do in the area. I guess you can go swimming and everything. Uh, it should be some fun. I'm pretty sure I have to get a ticket for like some sort of electric tram or something like that that takes us to the waterfall from the parking lot. I don't really know exactly, but we'll figure it out. So it looks like if you want to just skip ahead to the main waterfall, you can take this road. But there's also a walking trail that goes through like the Bear Rescue Center and all that and a few other little swimming places and little mini waterfalls. So I think I'll do that. So we're in the bear rescue center. I don't see any bears just yet. Oh, there's a big guy. Hold on, let's get closer. Oh, there's more over here as well. Probably can't see him on the GoPro though. Yeah, what do you smell? You smell something, don't ya? Yeah. Uh, 
merchandise. A little bigger. So the water turns blue because there's so much limestone in the area and as it runs down these limestone cliffs the calcium carbonate in the limestone makes it this just amazing turquoise looking color it's pretty cool Look at all the fishes! Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> cool, dude! <laughs> Here we go. Deeper than I thought it was going to be. Uh. I don't know if the speaker's in aired out yet. Uh. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go put this camera down so I can actually swim. Before you get into the waterfall they have like these little markets and stuff where you can buy food or some snacks or something like that to bring up to the waterfall and have a little picnic there is a restaurant at the the top waterfall as well if you wanted to actually sit down and grab something to eat or a beer otherwise i mean i'm sure all, all this stuff is a lot cheaper yes. Yep, now I think I just wait for the electric tram or the electric car or whatever it is to come back. Well, we're somewhere real special right now. We're, we're, we're at a buffalo dairy farm. Mm-hmm. I got pigs and rabbits and chickens too. Uh, I'm kind of just hoping they have some buffalo cheese. I want some buffalo cheese, like some mozzarella or something. So we're going to head to the cafe and check it out. They also do ice cream. There's a little ice cream shop right here maybe I'll get some of that later but they have tours I haven't decided if I'm going to do them yet one is 125,000 kit the other one is 220,000 kit guided tours of pig rabbits in the buffalo milking demonstration feeding and bathing the animals the only difference between the two is that the more expensive one you get a sample of cake ice cream and coffee or tea with milk and you get to feed the calves with little bottles so to be completely honest i'm not sure if any of that really interests me so much bathing a a, a buffalo or pig doesn't really necessarily sound like something i would want to pay money to do but you know we're here so we'll see 
I just want some cheese. Uh. Hello. So I figured somebody would come up to me at some point. He said I can go to the cafe, but I can't walk around and be recording and looking at everything unless I pay for the tour, which is understandable. So I did find out that they have cheese though. They have like fried feta, they have fried mozzarella, and they also have like a big cheese sampler. I don't think it's big, but it's a cheese sampler. And that's what I got. They do not, however, have bottled water though. So I'm going across the street to the store to get some bottled water. Nice, look at that. All right, so he said the way I should do this is start with the yogurt and then move on to the ricotta and then eat the mozzarella and then eat the feta and then eat the marinated feta and then finish off with the blue cheese. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Yogurt's so good. Ricotta. Oh yeah. So good. Under the mozzarella. Looks like it's got a little bit of basil and tomato too. I'm just gonna go for it. We all know this is gonna be good. Oh. Feta. Mm. Marinated feta next. I don't know what it's marinated in, but they did it right. Now for the blue cheese. <clears throat> I'm a little picky with blue cheese. So we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Overall, everything was great. Not sure how I feel about the blue cheese, but like I said, I'm really picky about blue cheese anyway, so yeah, definitely worth a stop. It is pretty expensive though. This plate was seven US dollars, so for the area, that's pricey, but it was good. <clears throat> good for a cheese man. Back at the night market, I almost went to a restaurant today and I was like, you know what? Why am I gonna pay, you know, 200,000 kit for a meal when I can just pay, you know, I don't know, 90 at the most. So, and everything's good. Everything's great. It's all been delicious. Every day I've eaten here for dinner at one of the places and it's always just been great. So, I might as well just stick with it. Um, this time I ordered like a like a spicy beef sort of salad thing. I honestly don't really know. So we're gonna find out when it shows up. Here we go. A little spicy beef salad. Honestly, I don't know I don't know what these are. I guess we'll find out though, huh? That's pretty good. It's got little chilies, red, green, and yellow, all chopped up and mixed in with the shaved or sliced beef. And uh, it's good, it's spicy, but it's not too crazy. And the green is mint, definitely, and cilantro. It tastes like mint and cilantro. I don't know what these are though. I don't know if I'll eat those. They got spicier. As I went, I'm a little sweaty. I can't believe there's extra peppers on the side. Wow. 
I ate all the meat, but I did not eat all the peppers. I probably ate a good half of them. Just meat. Sauteed with <clears throat> chili peppers. <laughs> this may be the first. I don't think I'm gonna eat the rest of the peppers. This might be the first spicy dish that was a little too spicy for me to finish. Don't look at me. All right, long bong. It's been fun. Now I am on my way to Veng Vieng, taking the slow train, not the fast train, unfortunately. It's only 30 minutes longer, though. The fast train was sold out of tickets. Um, yeah, picks me up at about quarter after four. My tuk-tuk will take me there around 2.30. Piece of cake. That's the end of this one. See you next time.